फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ रेणुका एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय क्रिसमस कार्ड सीरीज दिस इज़ आल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ इंटरेक्टिव कार्ड सीरीज एंड टुडे आई एम यूजिंग चिबी ट्रॉनिक्स चिबी चैट लाइट्स नाउ दीज आर क्वाइट इन नाउ एंड एवरीवन वांट टू मेक अ लाइट कार्ड एंड आई गॉट दिस बॉक्स फ्रॉम सैम सिट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर दैट यू कैन सी माई टेन एंड मोर कार्ड वीडियोज ऑन द सेम कार्ड किट फॉर द on my youtube channel for the same card kit and now i will use this santa claus paper pad by doodle bug you can make this card with doodle bug also you don't have to need the kit and you can buy this chibi charts light separately so now i want some kind of base to stick my lights and everything i don't want to put all this stuff on my main card base so here i just cut out a small card stock rather than the first front image and now i'll put this light on it now my main concern is i want to light up those houses and the santa's nose or santa's face so i want to use all of these three light lights and these having sticky glue behind them and now i am marking plus and minus this plus and minus is already on the car lights so i just want to make sure that i'll do everything properly that's why i'm putting it signs with the pencils now i want a battery house for this and you will get the full description that how you can make this or how you know to put these lights on the card and you can put all these lights by using those instructions now i never play with this this is the first time i am making this card so i decided to trim up those foils and uh, cause this is a quite thick foil now the main trick while using this chibi charge light is um, you need to remember that you don't uh, overlap these small connections it's a very simple physics not a rocket science so here i made a thin uh, strips of those lights and i'll make sure that all of them three lights i just go to my ma minus to minus and plus to plus at the same time i will not overlap any of the connection with each other and these also came with the sticky back so it's very easy to put on the paper now uh, you can see that uh, i put those um, lights before making mark on the card means i want we have to just light up the things but uh, you can do this for the flower background and you don't need to christmas card you can use those for anything else now uh, why i choose the another paper to put my battery as for that uh, you don't want to that your lights will go 24 hours you just want to make sure that when you uh, press it by thumb thumb or your finger then only it glows so that's why you need extra protection and you can get that with using the foam tape also so now you can see that how i am just making all the connection and i'll make sure that no connection which overlap with each other but at the same time i will add all the minus at the minus point of the battery light and this one is the last plus to the battery light battery house now you can put all the fun foam tape on it and it will not destroy anything now here i am kind of testing and somehow at that point it's not working i thought that these lights are not working and it kind of frustrating me so i'm trying it again and again and then you can see that one light goes and then another and then third but when i finally made all the <laughs> lights glow uh, on my card but uh, still it is kind of uh, tricky cause then i realized that when the stripes of those uh, three are connected to the battery sometimes it will not uh, make that proper connection that's why it's not glowing but when it makes a proper connection to the all of them then it was like glowing properly so now i just use the little bit bone folder to make sure that those adhering nice and clear and then i will add lots and lots of foam tape so that it will not go 24 hours but it will go only when i press it now uh, it's better idea to hand deliver this card these kind of cards but if you want to post this card in a mail then what you can do you can add a post it tape where you want to press so that recipient can uh, 
you know get an idea that this is the light card otherwise it looks like a simple card and another thing is that you need to make sure that when you post it you need a double wrap uh, uh, envelope for this cause you don't want that in a uh, mailing list it will just go round and round and when it reach to your recipient the battery is not working although its battery is quite alive and these chibi chat lights I have only one set which came in this kit but you can buy this kit by the Simon Says or other stamp companies also and I'll try to put the link there that where you can buy these and you can make lots of card with this but uh, what way I am suggesting is that uh, don't use more than two lights uh, for this because uh, here you can see when you make the three connections or more than that connection it's a little bit uh, tricky to uh, you know incorporate that connection in the card without overlapping and when you try to overlap it increase the battery's connection where it have the battery connection it increased that size now finally i i got um, um light there before the santa's nose and it's look really nice so this is the fun interactive card where light is blowing up and this is the maybe the last card in my christmas card series and um, i hope you enjoyed this and from the new year i will start the new card series for the interactive cards and i hope you like that and the one new series i want to start is masculine cards so stay tuned with my channel and if you want to see more projects like this subscribe to my channel and if you want to see something more than that do do me a mail or leave me a cam comment in a box and have merry christmas happy holidays and until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye